gonna jump right in and we're gonna start off with our black absolute pencil in slim and we're gonna be using that to start shading in our eyebrows so I usually try and go in an upward motion but I mostly just follow my brow shape and just kind of fill it in I don't really like to make it too unnatural Okay, another thing I want to point out is notice how I am overlining the outer part of my eyebrow. This is mainly just to ensure that I fill in all of the outer edges. It will mainly be cleaned up with concealer as is the inside will be as well, but I always just try to make sure that everything is filled in. Another thing that I want to point out is I know this wig is sitting on my head a little funny. I didn't expect to throw it on before the video. I couldn't find my scarf. It is what it is. All I'm saying is, don't make jokes. Let's just move on and pretend like it's nothing, okay? Okay, here I'm using the P. Louise Base Shade 5. Well, it's rumor base, but same thing. I'm pretty much just using it as a concealer, which it is, but it's also pretty much like one of the best concealers. I cannot wait to get some of the darker shades, ladies. They have darker shades than this. Well, now. And I cannot wait to try them on. I actually gotta order mine. So I should do that now. But, anyways, I'm pretty much using this as a concealer and to necessarily just carve out these brows. I'm gonna make them a little more crazier. They're not even gonna necessarily look like this because I'll admit this shape is a little foreign to me. But necessarily, I just wanted to coat my eyebrow and kind of mask it so this look can be a little more cartoonish. Guys, look, look, look. This is low-key the face of me panicking because I really don't like what's going on and I'm trying to quickly figure out something else that I like. As makeup artists, whether it's professional, freelance, whatever, you are going to mess up. You're going to make a mistake or two. And it's all about just calmly fixing it. When you panic, it, it, it tends to get a little messy. But when you calmly fix it, everything is good. Now, the concealer that I'm putting on now is actually from Makeup Revolution. I think that it's like the best concealer for my complexion. Well, at least during the summertime it was. It's starting to um, be a little dark for me, actually. But anyways, it's in C16, and it's really good. It's really, really, really thick and has good coverage. So now we're going to start with our eyeshadow. I'm going to be using my Morph palette in Armed and Gorgeous using the shades Smooth Criminal and Prowl. I'm using Smooth Criminal on my outer crease and working Prowl into the inner crease. If you know me, you know that I am like a Morph babe and I need to be sponsored at this point. But this is actually one of my favorite palettes because the colors are so natural and well on my skin. Now ladies, I cannot stress this enough, use your eyeball. Use your eyeball. Using your eyeball is probably like the best for creases, honestly. If you really don't know about placement, or if you have hooded eyes such as I do and you can't really work anything into your crease because you don't really have one, that is the best way to even finding out where to go because it 
pretty much outlines your whole entire crease. Actually, you can also use it on your lids as a cut crease outline too. It's the best way for me to do it, at least, and it was the best way to learn how to do it. It was amazing. Now using the same concealer brush that I used to apply my concealer, I'm just going to be blending out my lids so I can apply a lighter shade on it easier. Okay, now that I successfully finished up with this, I'm going to be using another Morph palette, 35W, and using some of the lighter shades on my lid just to kind of open it up and give it a natural look. I work it all into the crease, making sure that I blend it in with the brown. Use my eyeball once again. Now I go in with the brown just to make sure that there is no harsh lines or awkward blending and everything is nice and natural. Now for the NYX liquid eyeliner, I don't know why I did the accent. I'm not going to do a usual thick line like I usually do, I'm trying to keep it very 1920s-ish thin. It didn't really do over dramatic back then. It used to be kind of just like a little line. I'm actually already going a little overboard, but it's okay. Now for the primer. Always put lotion first and then your primer. I'm using an e.l.f. primer. This is one of my favorite ones because it works for me. Now I honestly play way too much. Wait for it. Oh yeah, the foundation. Wait, wait, just wait for it. Okay, now I'm using a foundation <laughs> in the shade um, Espresso from e.l.f. and I'm also using Smashbox shade 11 and I blend it together because my summer shade is a mess. But this is the application of the foundation for your sensation. <laughs> No, I just didn't want to record this. Now for contour, I'm going to be using the Black Radiance Concealer Stick in the shade Zark. And I'm just going to work that into my cheekbones, the outline of my forehead, and the outline of my nose. Some people like to outline their jawline. I'm not really a fan of that. I don't really see a difference with that. But some people like to do it. Now, after the contour comes the highlight, I'm going to be using the same Makeup Revolution concealer and I'm going to be putting that all under my eye and under my nose and a little bit on my forehead. This pretty much just kind of covers up the bags a little bit and heightens the highlight a little bit from the contour. Now I added a little bit of the P. Louise Rumor Base 5 just to kind of contrast between the highlight and the contour a little bit more and lighten it up a bit. bake cookies and I also bake my face. I am using the Ben Nye setting powder in Sienna to bake. I'm pretty much putting this on the highlighted areas, well everything that's not contoured at least, and this is basically just going to also highlight your face. I will say for my darker skin ladies, please try looking into the other shades because 
banana doesn't always work for us it actually makes me look really pale and orangey actually this is me getting mad at my boyfriend ignore it <laughs> But anyways, I also put the Smooth Criminal on my cheeks from the Morph Armed and Gorgeous palette. I like this better than any other contour powder that I've been using lately, but I basically apply this to anywhere that I applied the contour stick. I like using the flat brush because it gives me more of a precise measurement, I would say on how much powder I'm applying to my face and really just making sure I don't overdo it. to dust and set dust in set set your face i'm using my setting spray from nyx it's the matte one after that i apply my iconic i envy kiss brand lashes in 21 and i apply some little individuals you can get both from any beauty supply store I cut the individuals and then I use the same black glue that I use for my strip lashes and I apply them under my actual under eyelash band. It sounds hard, but it's actually very easy. Now this eyelash glue is also from I Envy. It's the black one. I prefer black eyelash glue for my eyelashes. But I like this glue, but if you're gonna get it, please get the black top. The silver top is hard to remove. And for the lipstick, I'm gonna use the Queen, my baby, Miss Fenty's Stunner Lip Paint in Uncensored. And then I'm gonna go ahead and outline it with yet another Morph palette, Bling Boss. And I'm using the colors Mystique and Spark. And this just gives it a nice little dark ombre. I like to use this, again, my dark ladies. Outlines and ombres are good for our lips. It's not so crazy. Now, here I'm using blush. I don't really use blush on the regular, but for this look, I'm gonna go ahead and use it. I'm actually using the baked blush, baked blush, I believe so, from Black Radiance, and it's in the shade Raspberry. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get my favorite glow kit as highlight, and I'm actually blending all the shades together. It's like all the scattered pieces that's on the palette don't judge me i love doing that it's like a beautiful mix but i could go ahead and do that and my look is pretty much done <laughs> Boop, 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 boop.